people I've met here have been uh, really important in my life, I feel like. I've made a lot of uh, lasting friendships. The couple of events I do, I feel like it's a nice, tightly knit community, but you have the flavor of different cultures, different pockets of Montreal have different ethnicities. You get to taste different foods, be exposed to different people. Uh, How's Cotonet's changed over the years? A lot? Yeah, a lot. Talk to me. Uh, before it was like, you could have said it like it was considered a black neighborhood, but it's not anymore. It was Jewish before it was black. Well, yeah. When middle I first class, arrived, it was Jewish. Jew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mackenzie, yeah. Yeah. the culture. Carlton. You know, Carlton, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What do you love about Montreal? Montreal is uh, the country, action country. It's international. It's good, good, good city. Everything you have, everything there, you have action, you have everything. Montreal is becoming much more, I think, international and multicultural and much more broad in scope. And outside of Montreal, they very like, very much like um, the way things are, which is okay. They've grown that way because of um, a fear of losing what they have. And I can only understand the being that way. I, I love the Philippines too, just like the culture and stuff like that. But when you walk around, when I walked around there, everybody was staring at me because I was obviously not Filipino. But you can come here and you don't get that type of same response. There's people of all different walks of life, different crees come over and it's, that's what I like the most about it. Oh no, I love to just be able to live in a city and get along with everybody and just like, you know, it doesn't matter if uh, maybe your two countries are fighting at war right now, but like in, in Montreal it's all, you know, you just, uh, we're all friends, we all just want to do the same thing, get along day by day. Anything frustrated about living here? It's hard, but I think that's like everybody's thing, you know, I'm a single mom, I have two kids, I'm a students so like I think I have a lot of friends who like you know kind of live outside of the law and I kind of can't blame them because everything kind of makes it so that you have to have your side hustle to just kind of make it. And I used to be a low-income family and I used to be a low-income single person on our own and yet Montreal it can work. The rents are cheaper, the subway is affordable for everyone. If I could change something about Montreal I would be to promote the fact that it's such a beautiful city. Uh, it's a beautiful city, like I'm not going to leave here because of the language problems or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. But this is what I know, this is where I learned my bad habits and <laughs> the good ones too. <laughs> I think life is too short to be like angry and stuff. Why not just be happy all the time? I don't mean like, let's get high and like, that kind of happy. I mean like, let's just enjoy each other's company. Like you're only young for so long. Like, you should just enjoy um, the people you have around you, I don't know. Sometimes I what feel like What happened at 20? Me. You said at 20. 